afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. To my countrymen and women of Great Sierra Leone, my name is Mr. Osman Prince Suleiman, a citizen of Great Sierra Leone. I am here today not to discredit any political party of Great Sierra Leone or fight against any honorable men and women in Great Sierra Leone. Neither I am here to create division in Great Sierra Leone. But my purpose for this broadcasting is to tell you about my candidate who is Julius Mada Bio of the Sierra Leone People's Party, SLPP. I'm here today to unite, not to divide, to love, not to hate, to embrace, not to ignore, to work against tribalism, nepotism, and sectionalism, regardless of our political propagandas bickerings and rhetorics at the end of the day whoever is going to win the election the 2012 coming election we will all come together as one people one nation citizens of great sierra leone and support that political party for nation building i am paraphrasing from Wikipedia, a little article they wrote about Julius Malabio, so you will know the significant, some significant things about my candidates and why I made up my mind to support him. I quote and I read. But before I start reading, as I read through this Wikipedia article, there are certain highlighted or important issues to be closely monitored or considered. I'll start reading. Julius Mara Bill, born May 12, 1964, is a Sierra Leonean politician who was the military head of state of Sierra Leone from January 16, 1996 to March 29, 1996 under the National Provisional Rally Council, NPRC. Bio is currently an active member of Sierra Leone or SLPP and will be its presidential candidate in the 2012 coming presidential election. Having won the nomination at the July 31st, 2011 SLPP National Convention held at the Meata Conference Hall in Freetown, Bill led a military coup in Sierra Leone on January 16, 1996, ousting his close friend and the leader of the NPRC government, Captain Valentine Strasser. These are the issues I want us to monitor as we read around. Bill led a military coup against his close friend, Captain Valentin Strasser. Why? And there is a question, and there is an answer to our question, or your question. Why? There was a division between the NPRC Council whether to seek peace with the RUF rebels before multi party election planned for March 1996 or they should go ahead with the election. Notwithstanding the ongoing war in the country and the condition for participating or disqualification of junta members in the election. And I will tell you the truth and the only truth about it. Bill was for the returning of power peacefully to the SLPP Democratic Government of Ahmed Tijan Kaba. And the Bible says, I quote, 
Blessed are the peacemakers. Because Bill would have said no and held on power, but he loved his people and his countrymen. Number one, I will continue to read. Bill fulfilled his promise to return Sierra Leone to democracy and handed power to Ahmed Tijan Kaba of the Sierra Leone People's Party, SLPP, following the latter victory in the 1996 presidential election. After retiring from the military in 1996, but before we go further, another significant issue, Bill fulfilled his promise to return Sierra Leone to democracy and handed power to Ahmed Tijan Kaba in the 1996 election. We all know that military don't hand over power easily. Just like that. Or even some civilian government or regime. For instance, APC ruled Sierra Leone as detectors for 27 years. I will continue. After retiring from the military in 1996, Bill moved to the United States to continue his education. Bill is a graduate of American University in Washington, D.C. with a master's degree in international affairs. Bill is a graduate of American University in Washington, D.C. with a master's degree in international affairs, which means that he has the credentials to become president. That is number third issue. I want you to monitor closely. Bill has served as the president of International System Science Corporation, a consulting and investment management firm based in the United States. He is currently married and has four children. Julius Mara Bill was born on May 12. 1964 in Timhun, a small rural town in Sobin, the Chiefdown, Bird District, just a few distance from the main commercial town of Matrujan, in the southern province of Sierra Leone. Bill is one of 35 children born to Mende Paramount Chief Charlie Bill II or the second of Sobin, the Chiefdown. Bill's father had nine wives. Bill is named after his paternal grand grandfather who was also a paramount chief of Sobini Chiefdown. Bill began his primary education at the Roman Catholic Primary School in Matrujon. After finishing his early years in primary school, Bill was sent to the town of Pujon to live with his older sister Agnes Bill, who was a primary school teacher in Pujon. Bill completed his primary education at the Holy Family Primary School in Pujam. At the completion of his primary education, Bill's older sister, Agnes Bill, enrolled him at the Bo Government Secondary School in Bo, commonly known as the Bo School with a definite article, the Bo School, a famous bordering school and one of Sierra Leone's most widely recognized secondary schools. Bill spent seven years at Bo School, rising up to become school prefect. Bill spent seven years at Bo School rising to become a school prefect. He has always had that leadership quality. Bill graduated from Bo School in 1984 with A level at age 20. After graduating from secondary school, Bill applied to enter Fro Bay College in Freetown in 1985 at age 21. However, Bill changed his mind about college and instead enrolled in the Sierra Leone Armed Force Military Academy and was deployed for military training as a cadet officer at the Benguma Military Training Academy in Benguma a town located just outside Freetown in October 1987. He was directly under the command of Major Falasewa, who was head of cadet training at the Military Academy. At the Military Academy, Bill built close relationship with his fellow cadet official, officers, Valentin Strasser, Solomon Musa, and Sir Sandy. 
Bill graduated from the military academy as a second lieutenant in the Sierra Leone Army in October 1987 at age 22. This young man had ambition. His first posting as a soldier was at the Lungi garrison in Lungi, Port Local District. In 1987, Bill was later sent to Cambia District as part of the Economic Emergency Unit created by President Joseph Saidu Momo to combat the deepening meltdown and criminality across Sierra Leone. In 1988, Bill was reposted at Lungi to be trained by United Nations forces in aviation security. Bio loved his country, so he wanted to serve his people and his nation, which he did. In the United States, it is sometimes good to serve as a military, and it is something exceptional in their society. They take it very seriously. To consider you to be a leader of their nation. Bill was reposted throughout his life. If you can listen or if you can highlight where it says Bill was reposted at Lungi to be trained by United Nations Force in Aviation Security. Throughout his life, he has positioned himself as a learner and willing to sacrifice for his country and countrymen. Bio was posted to Benguima as a plateau commander. In 1990, the Sierra Leone Government sent Liberia as a member of ECOMARC peacekeeping force to battle the rebels of the Liberian Civil War that was fighting to overthrow the Liberian government. Bill and several other Sierra Leonean soldiers, including Captain Valentin Strasser and Sergeant Solomon Musa, were deployed to Liberia as part of Sierra Leone contribution to. Ecomog. At the time, thousands of Liberians were fleeing to Sierra Leone, weakly exposing the country's fragile security and adding to the economic hardship. After a year in Liberia as an Ecomog soldier, the Sierra Leone government ordered Bill and several members of Sierra Leone soldiers serving in Liberia to immediately return to Sierra Leone and report to the army barracks in Daru. Kalam district as a member of a 600 battalion of soldiers set up by President Momo in order to squash a rebellion by rebels known as the RUF Revolutionary United Front that had just begun in villages in Johun in Chieftain, Kalam district in eastern Sierra Leone in March 1991. The soldiers included Future MPLC members, Sergeant Solomon Musa, Captain Valentin Strasser, Lieutenant Sa Sandi, and Captain Tom Numa. On April 29, 1992, Bill was one of a group of six young Sierra Leonean soldiers that, in, <coughs> that included Captain Valentin Strasser, Lieutenant Sa Sandi, Sergeant Solomon Musa, Captain Tom Numa, and Captain Komba Munde that toppled President Joseph Salomon's All People's Congress APC government in a bloodless, in a bloodless military coup. Now, you ask why Bill was part of a military coup. There's an answer to this question. A simple answer is because the APC government refused to hand over power and has been manipulating the election for 27 years, detecting as a totalitarian government, and everybody in Sierra Leone were tired of their brutal event all over the country. So, there was a reason why it should be toppled or overthrown.
it continues. Bill's first appointment following the formation of the NPRC was at the Secretary of State South, stationed in the country's second cap capital, Bo. He was later moved to Freetown to serve as Secretary of State in charge of information and broadcasting. At this point, he was promoted to captain alongside other junior lieutenants as a leading member of the coup that kicked out the APC government. So as you all have listened, or have listened to my broadcast, now you know that Julius Malabio is a good citizen of Sierra Leone. Like I said, it, it is not easy for military to hand over power to Sierra Leone government. He did. Bio is exceptional. I want to talk to my countrymen and women in Sierra Leone to vote for Julius Mada Bio coming November 2012 election and you will not regret it. Because our focus is on technology, science, and a lot of things that we bring Sierra Leone to the level of international community. I thank you all for listening to me. My name is Mr. Osman Solomon again. God bless you. God bless Sierra Leone. And God bless Africa. There ends my broadcast today.